What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky B here, back with week number two of the preseason as the Los Angeles Crusaders get ready to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers in the annual preseason battle of the black and the yellow. The Crusaders did pick up a loss in their first preseason game to the Packers, hoping to rebound here today. Although, like I said last time, I don't put a whole lot of stock into the preseason stuff. You know, our starters barely ever play. We've seen this team struggle in the preseason and do very well during the regular season, but it's still going to be telling with a lot of the young rookies we have are they going to be able to step up and fill the roles of big former players like a Mera, like brandon spikes and so on you know we definitely have a lot of question marks that need to be answered let's go ahead and check out the steelers lineup nick Foles leading the way frank that's a weird way to spell frank frank blair is going to be their backup quarterback martez kane and jakees rogers going to be the running backs Derek coleman at fullback kendall right Antonio Brown and Carlson going to be the three main wide receivers here. They also have James Jones, the veteran, Justin Hunter, and Richard Matthews. Malik Cosby at tight end with Curse. And a pretty good offensive line. Not incredible. Uh, the right side's definitely a little bit stronger. Defensively, their defensive line needs some work. This could be a defensive line that we could potentially take advantage of and maybe run the ball on. They do have some very good middle linebackers, weak outside linebackers, though. And a decent, you know, uh, cornerback, de decent secondary, as you see there. Captain Munderland, a player I most certainly like a lot. Let's go ahead and kick things off here, though. And this is going to be returned by Chase Crossell if he takes it out. Let's see. And he does return it past the 10, 15, 20, all the way up to about the 22-yard line. And that is where the Crusaders will take over as Devon Golden gets things going with the seven-yard run. Second and three on the right side. That's swatted away. Third and three. Now Stuart Denny connects with Yakov Moody. Good for first down to the 35-yard line. First and 10. Devon Golden up the middle. He will have a four-yard gain there. Second and six. Denny over the middle finds Ryan McNeil, the tight end. For a first down to the 46-yard line. Now Jesus King up the middle. And this is coming back. A holding penalty on Buck Ware. And that'll make it first and 19 for the Crusaders. But Yakov Moody was open. And Stuart Denny just missed him. A huge miss throw there. Second and 19. Same play. Moody's open again. The 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. All the way down to the 16-yard line. Yakov Moody. A huge play. But now Williams is going to get the interception for the Steelers. Another poor pass from Stuart Denny there. Clearly behind the wide receiver. I don't know what is going on with his accuracy here today. But that is going to give the Steelers the ball back. Or the ball, I guess. As Martez Kane runs for a first down. First and 10 on the left side. Kendall Wright, a spin move. He is going to pick up about 8 on the play. Second and 2, Martez Kane. First down, still on his feet. All the way up to the 46-yard line. Now Jaquise Rogers, the 35, 30, 25. He could be gone. 10, 5, touchdown Pittsburgh Steelers. A 54-yard run from Jaquise Rogers. The backup running back, and that is going to give the Steelers a 7-0 lead. I'm definitely a little concerned with our run defense here early on. Second and two, Golden will have a first down to the 34-yard line, a six-yard gain there. First and 10, Denny over the middle finds Devon Golden out of the backfield to the 40-yard line to pick up a six. Second and four now, Yakob Moody, another reception up to the 49-yard line of Steeler territory as we enter the second quarter. Buck Ware now getting involved with the nine-yard reception, and King will have a first down run for the Crusaders first and 10 Buck Ware once again making the reception the rookie making his presence known here early on second and six this one is almost intercepted third and six here for the Crusaders and Mendenhall gonna make an incredible catch and pick up the first down it did not look like that was a possibility but now Beatty is gonna have the interception the 40 the 50 nobody is going to catch him 30 25 10 Five, touchdown Pittsburgh Steelers a huge pick six from Beatty there and that is going to give the Steelers a 14 nothing lead here at Heinz Field a huge mistake from McElroy and another missed throw for the Crusaders quarterbacks here that one nowhere near a wide receiver now Julius Baker makes an acrobatic catch picking up a clutch first down from a third and eight Pressure on its way. McElroy barely getting the ball out of his hands there. Second and 10. That's not going to work. Third and 10 for the Crusaders. Trying to get down the field. Shakir Gaten with a huge catch. All the way to the 41-yard line of Steeler territory. First and 10. Pressure on its way. And McElroy is going down again. Second and 22 here for the Crusaders. And Mendenhall 
A great catch, staying in bounds. Third and nine over the middle. McNeil, a clutch catch that was thrown behind him a little bit. First and ten, a screenplay to King here. On the right side, he is going to pick up about nine yards. Second and one, Weisler Motes will have the first down. First and ten for the Crusaders here to the end zone. Julius Baker, touchdown. Los Angeles Crusaders fin finally finding their way onto the board here. Seven to 14 is going to be the score, but they are giving the Steelers a minute to work with. And Blair is going to try to get some work done, but he holds on the ball for far too long, and that's going to be a sack for the Crusaders defense. Nowhere to go this time. It is going to be third and long, and they are just going to run this one into halftime. 14-7 to is the score. A few huge mistakes there from the Crusaders, both with bad passes and then the pick six, obviously. Not a single passing yard here for the Steelers. In fact, they haven't even had the ball four minutes yet. The uh, Crusaders controlling the clock. We are back in the second half now, and Rodgers gets things going with a three-yard run. Despite the Crusaders controlling the clock, the Steelers have the lead here. Third and four, trying to make something happen. Pressure on its way, and Blair's barely going to get the ball out of his hands there. The Crusaders will take back over with good field position. As you see, King run for seven there, second and three. This one is getting swatted away. Third and three, King is going to have a first down to the 48-yard line of Steeler territory. First and ten. Weisler Motes now is going to have a two-yard run. Second and eight. Motes on the outside has a first down and more all the way down to the 32-yard line. A 14-yard carry there. First and 10. Buck Ware, another reception still on his feet on a six-yard gain. Second and four. King up the middle. First down for the Crusaders to the 21-yard line. First and 10. Play action. McElroy, another missed throw from the Crusaders quarterbacks. But King on the right side. Will break a huge gain all the way down to the 8-yard line. A 13-yard gain there. Now Motes is going to take it to the 3-second and goal. And this is going to be a delay of game penalty here for the Crusaders. Making it 3rd and goal from the 8-yard line. McElroy to the end zone. Shakir Gaten. Touchdown. Los Angeles Crusaders. 14-14 to is going to be the score. Crusaders quarterbacks have been incredibly inconsistent here today. But they will find their target as Shakir Gaten. Another uh, touchdown for him. Tack it on to the career total, even though it is preseason. Whatever. First and 10 after a huge run from Rodgers on the left side. He will get stuffed this time. Second and 7. Rodgers again. And he will have a first down. A lot of power for such a little guy there. And now on the right side, he is going to pick up five more. Second and 5. Blair is avoiding the first sack. And now he's going to get intercepted by Beckwith. The rookie middle linebacker is going to have the interception. Deshaun Beckwith making the play and our rookies are stepping up early here in the preseason we saw Damian Reed get a pick six in his first uh NFL game and now Beckwith in his second NFL game is going to get an interception second and nine over the middle another miss throw from the Crusaders there third and nine on the right side this is completed to Julius Baker all the way down to the 28 yard line first and 10 for the Crusaders pressure on its way and McElroy is going down second and 22 over the middle. Intercepted by Beatty again. He overthrew his target and Beatty was there waiting for the ball. His second interception of the day and another poor throw from the Crusaders quarterbacks here in preseason. Things are not looking good. Price Price is going to get a sack though. We are in the fourth quarter under four minutes to go in the game. And it is a 14-14 ball game. Third and eight here for the Steelers. Frank Blair looking down the field. On the right side, he will connect with Curse, who breaks the tackle, picks up the first down and more than 40, all the way down to the 35-yard line of Crusader territory. A huge play. Back up tight end, and now Jones is going to have a two-yard reception. Second and eight over the middle. This is Hunter with the reception. He is going to pick up four more. Third and four. Matthews has the first down for the Steelers. Two minutes to go now, and they are in striking territory. The Crusaders' defense needs to make something happen, force a turnover at the very least, only allow a field goal and have the ball back. Third and inches, and Starks is going to have the first down. That is huge for the Steelers. Second and 10 now. The Crusaders are using one timeout, and Rodgers into the end zone. Touchdown for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They will capture a 21-14 lead. A minute to go here for the Crusaders. Things are not looking good as this one soars out of bounds. Second and 10 now. McElroy pressure on its way, barely getting the ball off there. Third and 10. 
for the Crusaders. They need to make something happen on the left side. This is Dundrikas Clay breaking three tackles on his way to a first down. 40 seconds to go. Mendenhall has a huge reception to midfield. First and 10 for the Crusaders. Only one timeout left. Second and 10 now. Over the middle, Devrin Golden has a reception all the way to the 26-yard line. First and 10. No timeouts left. McElroy outside looking for a player here and this one is going to fall incomplete almost intercepted second and 10 this one's getting swatted away as well third and 10 here for the crusaders over the middle mcneil has the catch but time is going to expire and the pittsburgh steelers are going to escape with a 21 to 14 victory here over the los angeles crusaders things definitely not going the crusaders way here in the preseason now we are 0 and 2 again i don't put a whole lot of stock into that it's mostly about our starters. Uh, we did see some of our young defenders step up, and that's what I like to see. We saw Beckwith get an interception. Uh, but the Crusaders moving to 0-2 in the preseason, definitely not something to be all too happy about, unfortunately. Reginald McElroy, 70.5 quarterback rating, 16-30, 213 yards, 78 yards on 5 of 8 for Stuart Denny. Uh, two touchdowns, two interceptions for McElroy, one interception for Stuart Denny. A lot of those interceptions were very poor throws, nowhere near the intended target. I don't know what's going on with our quarterbacks right now, but it's something that we need to figure out as we get uh, closer to the regular season. McNeil with three catches for 35 yards. Cobb Moody, three catches, 65 yards. And boy, a lot of receivers got involved here today for the Crusaders, and you definitely love to see that. Shakir Gayton finding his way into the end zone as well. That's always nice to see. Corey Tarpley, the rookie, leading the way in tackles. Uh, Price Price and Roy Harris each getting a sack. Beckwith with the interception for the Crusaders. Overall, it wasn't a great game, but we did see some signs of life from the defense in terms of uh, Beckwith. We didn't get a whole lot of pressure on the quarterback and probably should have taken uh, more advantage of Blair's lack of experience. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Data.